Hello, I'm Duncan, I work for Wild Ground and today I'm going to show you how to build your own hibernaculum. You're going to need a few different things to build your hibernacular at home. So first of all, you're going to need a spade to dig the hole with. You're going to need a tape measure so you can measure the depth of the hole. I've got some, uh, this is optional, but I've got some wildflower seed that you can sprinkle on top of the end. I've also got a selection of different types of uh, logs. So there's a few bits of dead wood in there um, and some recently cut timber. I've got a good collection of sticks. That's just for camouflage at the end, really. Um, and then I've got a few different bits of bricks, stones, old tiles, um, and that's everything you need. So the first thing you need to do is pick a spot to build your hibernaculum. So there's a few things you want to think about, really. The first of which is the sort of temperature of the ground. So you want to pick somewhere that's semi-shady but gets a bit of sunshine so the ground stays a good temperature all throughout the year. The second thing you want to think about is it needs to be somewhere you can dig down 50 centimetres at least. So if you know that you've got really hard ground underneath the first sort of 15 centimetres of soil, you're better off picking a different spot. So I've just measured out the hole. So it wants to be a round hole really, I've just marked it out like this because it's the simplest way to do it. You want it to be about a metre by a metre and a round hole and um, somewhere you can dig it 50 centimetres deep. The reason you have to dig it 50 centimetres deep is because at that level it helps to keep the frost out. So when the amphibians are hibernating over winter they aren't damaged by the frost and that's why they climb underground to hibernate. Okay, so I've now dug the hole to the required depth, so 50 centimetres or more. The next step is to start selecting your bits of bricks and rocks and bits of logs and you can just kind of arrange those in the hole. Try and make sure that there's plenty of sort of little, you know, nooks and crannies in there that the amphibians can hide in, um, but you also want to make sure it's not going to collapse because obviously if there's amphibians in there or animals in there and it collapses they're not going to have a great time. So now you can see I've filled up the hole that I dug earlier. Um, there's lots of different rocks and logs in there. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell but I've actually positioned some of the logs so they sort of lead down towards the bottom of the hole. I'm hoping that that'll help whatever creatures decide to use the high binocular to um, hope it'll help them find their way to the bottom of the hole. Uh, anyway, now this section is complete. Uh, it's just come above ground level, which is perfect. Uh, now I'm going to add a little bit of leaf litter. So this will act as a bit of an ins insulative layer. So now the leaf litter is all on top, I'm going to start adding the uh, bits of turf that are on top. I'm going to place these upside down. Is that the nutrient poor soil is just beneath the surface? So if we place the turfs on first upside down and then follow that with the with the sort of stuff we've dug out of the hole, it'll create a nutrient poor environment, and that's the environment that wildflowers thrive in. So bear that in mind when you're filling the hole back over. Okay, so it's almost complete. Just time to add some finishing touches. So if you have some wildflower seed, now's the time to add it. Just sprinkle a little bit on top of your hibernacular and wait and see what comes out in the next year or two. Hopefully there'll be some nice flowers to look at. You can also add a few bits of twigs and sticks. Make sure once you've built your hibernaculum that you come back to check on it on a damp evening. Bring a torch and see if you can see any critters crawling around, finding their way in and out of this wonderful structure you've built for them. So, if you like this video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any videos that we produce in the future. Thanks for watching. See ya.